Step number one to making ornaments is to get your cloth and set that down before you. And then I have special rolling pins that take different size discs on the end and they're going to roll the clay out in different thicknesses. I think the purple is a little too big. I would start with the blue and the brown, put those in there like this, and then put your handle on and you've got on both sides the brown and the brown on the outside. Next, take a piece of clay, I'd say about the size of a golf ball. What you do is you take a fish line, cut through it, a little chunk, take it off, and you're going to ball it up, and you're going to roll that out. Next step for just a basic ornament or shape, I'm going to take this Christmas tree cookie cutter and you just press it down like this and then you peel the clay away on the outside and you can press this out and you have a Christmas tree shape. Next I'd like to show you a different way to cut this out. This one has a little bit of a sharper edge because I just used the cookie cutter straight but if you put a piece of saran wrap on top of your clay spread it out so there's no wrinkles in it and just get nice and flat on top and then just press with the cookie cutter or the shape that you want push it down and try to get all the way to the cloth and then pull it out and then pull your saran wrap off, saran wrap off it gives it a nice curved edge on the top and then you can peel off the extra clay around the outside and then when it dries you clean up the edges here like this but see this will give you a little bit different edge almost just a little smoother rounded and you can see this the next thing I'd like to show you is to take a piece of lace or doily and then place it over top of the clay that you've rolled out. Don't worry about rolling it out so that it presses it down really hard, but just put some texture in it until you're happy with it. You kind of put your rolling pin on top, roll it just to get this pressed in there. Kind of like this. And then peel that lace back. And then you position well, first of all, put your saran wrap on top and you can position your cookie cutter. I'm going to put it right kind of so that this, this designs in the center. And then I'm going to push this down and this is how you can get a texture on top. Let's peel off this and then this has got this fun texture. So it's kind of like this here. This next one, what I'm going to do is try to show you how to put your own designs in it. There's a bunch of ribs that have serrated or designed edges and you can pick one of those and just kind of use it to create a design. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press it in like this, turn it a little bit and press it down like this and then press it again at an angle so that it looks like a layer of edges kind of going back and forth and I'm going to have fun putting the Christmas tree on top of that and so then you've got this coming down like this and you can practice with different textures different ideas and see what you can come up with So then you can kind of see that it's got this, this texture pressed in all the way down. Put your saran wrap on top of that. And then press your Christmas tree into it. Get it up here a little bit higher. There we go. Peel off your saran wrap. 
By the way, you can use your saran wrap over and over again. And then you've got this kind of fun design going on your Christmas tree. It almost looks like lights or the branches on a tree. The next technique I'd like to show you is to take a piece of textured cloth, put that on the clay, roll that into it, and get a nice impression from it. Creates a nice texture. Peel that off. Then put your saran wrap on top. Press your pattern into it. I'm going to push it right there all the way down to the cloth. Get it nice and snug. Peel that off. Peel your saran wrap. Then I've got these different letters. I'm going to use an R for Rothfuss. And what I'm going to do is press this in the top, like right here, and you just kind of wiggle it back and forth. Try not to press it in so far that it shows the edge of the wood. Just get a nice letter in it like this. And then I've got this R here. You can peel away the clay on the outside. And you've got this fun little ornament with a letter on it. So you can see how to do that. The last thing I'd like to show you is how to put the hole in the top for the string or the fish line, whatever you're going to hang it with. What you do is you take either a straw or a coffee stirrer and just press down so it goes all the way through, twist, and then just lift. And that will pull that out. And please make sure to put your full name on the back of these so we can make sure we get your ornaments to you. Not your initials, but your full name um, so that we can get these back to you. And here's the ideas.